Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. My name is Sam and it is just a Sam video today because I'm here to talk to you about Girl Halloween. It is a complex time. We want to be original with our costumes, but we also want to be trendy, but we also want to stand out, but also maybe be a part of the pop culture zeitgeist. Do we go with a classic costume or is that boring even though it's a staple? There, there are so many things. Do you dress a little slutty cause it's Halloween or do you go like full send in the special effects makeup route? And dear God, what is the Instagram caption? As you can tell for me, I guess I don't want to make any generalizations here. I put a lot of thought into my Halloween costume and typically before Halloween, I have like four that I try to do, but I typically end up with like two costumes. My favorite thing about the warm up to Halloween is on social media, everyone starts sharing their Halloween costume ideas. Not everyone, some people gatekeep. And honestly, I respect that. I know that on social media, we're talking about this being the year of Barbie ween, which is quite the name of everyone dressing like different Barbies and all that jazz, which I think is phenomenal. But I think I have a little bit of like an individuality complex. So I don't think I'm gonna be partaking. I already have my costumes lined up. Like I said, I'm not sharing, but it still doesn't stop me from doing a little research. And my favorite phenomenon that happens specifically on TikTok around Halloween is people sharing non-basic Halloween costume ideas. And I use quotes because I swear to God, most of these that I see end up being the most basic Halloween costume. Let me preface before we get into this. There is nothing wrong with doing a basic Halloween costume. Wear whatever you want. We are just gonna be reacting to some of these non-basic Halloween costume TikToks. And I just wanna point out the humor and the juxtaposition of them being called non-basic and then you know, being a black swan and a white swan with your friend. That's, come on, we've seen this. <laughs> it's a gorgeous costume and if I just called you out, please still do it. We'll get into the reaction, but there is a piece of me that wishes we would just get rid of the word basic and use mainstream because nothing's wrong with being mainstream. It's popular for a reason. It's like how I feel when people ask me what my favorite musical is and I say wicked and they roll their eyes. It's like, it's, it's one of the biggest Broadway shows for a reason. It's not because it's bad and people don't like it. Just because something's popular doesn't mean it's bad. Anyway, let's watch TikToks. <laughs> I just searched Halloween costume inspo ideas and this is what came up. The day he left me was, was a day that, that I died. died. As a witch. You're gonna hear different music for all of these, because I'm not risking a copyright claim for this. The black and white swan. Okay, wait, I'm sorry, I'm pausing. Serena and Blair, classic, I adore it. But that's, that's, come on. Okay, angel and devil, or is this angel and Cupid? Okay, the twins, we've seen it, we've seen it. Okay, a little Glinda and Dorothy. I love these, they're super cute. They're all, like, come on, they're mainstream. They're mainstream, they're mainstream. Quick side note, you know, just for you to be reminded that everything being pushed to you is an ad, even if you don't think it is. All of these Halloween videos, I feel like 100% of them have, everything's linked in my Amazon storefront, which like, get your bags, sis. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I am not against people making money. With so many of these costumes, they're linking you to really basic pieces. So just like hit up a thrift store first. Don't buy pieces to a costume that you're never gonna wear again from Amazon. Do some thrifting. This girl is showing up a bit. So let's see, this, this is apparently part 45. Okay, non-basic. <gasps> Okay. I can't even say these names, but I know that they're from Zoolander. Okay, that's, is TikTok stepping it up? Are all you little creator girlies and Amazon storefront girlies stepping it up? I've never seen that. That's, that's a good one. I'm impressed. Part 49, spooky edition, jigsaw. Oh, I'm sorry. Are those the pants that you're supposed to wear? I mean, I guess I said do it slutty. Okay. I see this. 
sometimes for me, it's about execution. Like, I feel like the pieces that are in this are what make it a basic costume. But the idea, I don't feel like it's that basic. I've seen some people do a really like... I'm saying slutty a lot in this video. I hope that's okay, YouTube. I've seen a lot of people do like slutty versions of Jigsaw where they are really just wearing nothing but have the circles on their cheeks. I want you to full send. I want you to full commit. That's what I expect out of Halloween. All right, here's part 52 from Jordan. Twiggy. Okay. I know and love and respect Twiggy as an icon. I feel like if I was Twiggy for Halloween, I would be so scared that like no one would recognize who I was. Not that that's what it's about, but come on, we've all been there where you've like put your heart and soul into a costume and you're feeling so good, but like no one gets it and you're just really upset. That happened to me one Halloween. I was Alice from Twilight in the neighborhood that we went trick-or-treating in. Literally no one got it except for the last house that we went to there was like an older sister on the porch handing out candy with her parents and as i was walking away she was like wait are you alice from twilight she doesn't know what she did for me that night i don't think i have pictures otherwise i would totally share them with you okay this one says it's for the it girls and i'm always curious as to like what people mean when they say that so let's see if we can decipher what makes these halloween costumes for the it girls <gasps> okay stop oh twiggy again i don't know who that is but that seems unique margot tenenbaum okay Okay, okay, okay. I do have to say, the first one, Eloise at the plaza, that is iconic. I do think if I saw a girl in that costume, I'd be like, oh, she knows culture. <laughs> like, I respect her. The Tenenbaum one, absolutely. A little Wes Anderson girly costume. Twiggy again. Is Twiggy having like some resurgence amongst the It girls? Like, I know she's a fashion icon. I did a whole project on her in sixth grade, but I'm just shocked to see her here twice. All right, this is another one with like over a million views. Original ideas. Lightning McQu okay, oh, okay, okay, wait. Okay, wait, we went a little fast there. Okay, Lightning McQueen. I'm gonna say that's a yes for me. Pop star Hannah Montana. That's a yes for me. Velma. You can't tell me you included Velma or any member of the Scooby gang in a non-basic Halloween costume idea video. They're classics. We love them. But like, of course it's basic. Of course we see this every year. Hot pirate. Again, nothing wrong with the classic. Please be a hot pirate. I love hot pirates. But that's like one of the most basic costumes. It's like a hot witch, you know? Freddy Krueger. Okay, I've also, I'm sorry snitchery on instagram is like one of the only people to me who can do the like slutty killers but i think it's because if you're gonna be freddy krueger like i don't want you just in like a torn up crop top like i want to see <laughs> special effects makeup on you i want it to look like you have scars on your face <laughs> again commit i want you to commit puss in boots i see i see that again I want you to commit. I do want a prosthetic nose. I'm sorry. I, I want at least cat ears. I know he's wearing a hat, but I want cat ears. I want a tail. You would really get extra points from me if you got like one of the little like prosthetic nose pieces. That's what would do it for me. That's what would take this from like basic to like, whoa, that's a costume. Super sexy Halloween costume, original. Let's see. Where is this going? Is this like she's the... <laughs> okay, no, okay, we're ending it there. Um, <laughs> the only way to full send with that is to uh, sing Bust a Move to a room of high schoolers. But uh, for legal reasons, don't do that. Body girls are scantily clad and show a body. A chick walks by and you wish you can sex her, but you're standing on the wall like you was Poindexter. 
Be whatever you want for Halloween. Go thrifting, get crafty, do it up, full send. I don't care if it's mainstream, basic, whatever you want to call it. As long as you fully commit, okay? I don't know if you're feeling this way, but to me, it's like already Halloween. I'm just, I'm already living in this mindset if you can't tell by the fact that I uploaded this video. Start your costume planning. If you have any thoughts for really fun costumes, leave them down in the comments or just say, hey, I'm not going to do that, Sam, because I'm going to gatekeep it and I also respect that. As always, be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you all soon. Bye everyone!